Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between acetal, hemiacetal, and geminal diol. For acetal, when you have two OR groups, so when I say OR, R means carbon chain. So any number of carbon chain. Okay. So when you have two OR groups, as we see here, attached to the same carbon, so this is the point of attachment. When two OR groups attached to the same carbon, we call that acetal. Okay. Now for hemiacetal, you have one OR group, which is this, and then you have an alcohol group, OH group, both attached to this carbon. When you have this situation, we call that a hemiacetal. So it's not a full acetal. For it to be a full acetal, we are going to have an OR group, two of them attached to the same carbon. But in this case, you have one OR group and one OH group, and that is why it's called a hemiacetal. For geminal diol, you have two OH group, two of them attached to the same carbon. And that is why we call that a geminal diol. So generally, diols are compounds that have two OH group. But in this case, this is called geminal diol because it has the two OH attached to the same carbon. So this is the major difference between an acetal, hemiacetal, and geminal diol. What you should look out for is the group attached. So if you have two OR group attached to the same carbon, it's called an acetal. If you have one OR group, one OH group attached to the same carbon, it's called a hemiacetal. And if you have two OH group attached to the same carbon, it's called a geminal diol. And that's the differences. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.